next, all right? So if I do one, he stops it, I got another option, got another option, okay? So we've done everything isolated on this leg. Let's say this leg gets out of the way, I'm having trouble getting to it. Usually his other knee is there. So if I'm here and he steps back, this knee is here, okay? This knee pick I'm gonna do, it's not the same as like a head and heel or like a normal like head and knee. Once this leg gets out of the way, the leg closest to my partner is the one I step forward. All right, step forward. I have hip position right now. I can drive and all his weight is carrying his weight and my weight is isolated on one leg. Does that make sense? Everybody got like this. No thumb wrestler. I'm gonna cup the side of his knee, okay, and I'm gonna run him because all his weight's on one leg this direction. As soon as we hit, I throw an uppercut and I try to get him my bicep. I mean, if you guys play football or have played football, okay? If you hit somebody, what's the number one thing you got to keep moving? Feet. If you don't, you probably get ran over and get embarrassed, okay? So same thing here. Short, choppy sets, keep moving my feet. Okay, so I go here, I reach. Right there. It's almost effortless, it really is. So as soon as it sets back, I hit here, rub my feet, it just cleans them out. Effortless. The most awkward part is this. Go ahead and step. A lot of guys go like this and they get overextended. Here, lock, run. I have leverage, I'm taking them over. Make sense? Just try it. One, two, three. Move. 